Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to edit product. So let's see how can we edit the product. So first of all, let's create a new live wire component. So in command prompt, uh, let's run the command php artisan make colon live wire space directory name admin slash component name which is admin edit product component okay now hit enter now run the application php artisan serve okay now switch to the project and let's create the route for this component so just go inside the routes directory then open web.php now inside the admin middleware route group uh, let's create another route here so after this start here route get add the uri admin slash product slash edit and pass here one parameters which is product underscore id okay now add here the class name admin edit component colon colon class and also give the route name admin dot product dot edit okay now save this file now go to the admin edit product component view file so just go inside the resources directory then views live wire and uh, from here uh, admin and from here let's open this one admin edit product component dot play dot php file okay now, uh, now from here just uh, remove this tip and now let's open this one admin add product component dot play dot php file and from this view uh, let's copy all the text copy and paste inside this view okay and uh, inside this view just change here the title okay so add here edit product all right and inside the submit button just add here the text update okay now save this file now go to the admin edit product component class file so just go inside the app directory in http liveware admin and from here let's open this one admin edit product component.php file okay and inside this file uh, let's add here uh, first of all let's call open this one admin add product component.php file and from here let's copy this one okay and inside this enter method just paste here now let's pass this categories to to the view so add here inside the big bracket categories arrow dollar categories okay and also import this category model so right here like this now from this class uh, let's copy these properties and this function and also copy this add product function okay so just select from here to here copy and inside this class just before the standard method is here okay and also copy this this one and after this just paste here okay and now uh, just copy this one product model and carbon okay and uh, just paste all right now change here the method name update product okay and uh, uh, inside this uh, let's add here one more property which is the product id so right here public dollar product underscore id okay and now uh, let's add here 
life cycle hook method mount method so write your public function and function name mount and inside this just pass here the parameter product underscore id all right now let's fetch here the product according to this product id okay so right here product dollar product is equal to product colon colon find and pass here the dollar product underscore id okay and now uh, let's copy this uh, properties so alt shift and drag okay and then shift plus end okay now let's copy and inside this mount just paste here now uh, make a multiple selection so alt shift and drag and add here dollar this arrow okay dollar product arrow and now let's copy this uh, add the id product arrow id and for name slug okay sort description then description regular price sale price and here SKU and stock status is equal to dollar product arrow stock status featured also remove this quantity uh, quantity and here image okay and just uh, go for category id product uh, dollar product arrow category id all right and now uh, here let's create one more property for new image so public dollar new image okay and now inside this update product method uh, let's remove this and find the product according uh, to this property okay product id so right here product colon colon find dollar this arrow product id okay now name is equal to this one slug sort description regular price sale price sku stock status featured quantity and uh, before this image uh, let's add here the if condition if dollar this arrow new image then uh, execute this line so let's cut this line and paste inside this if okay and also change here the property name uh, right here new image okay and also change here all right and before updating the image uh, let's delete previous image so old image so right here on link method on link and inside this just pass here the path assets imgs okay then products slash concatenation sign and this add here dollar product arrow image okay and now change here the message product has been updated
okay now save this file now go to the admin edit product component view file and inside the image here uh, just change here the property name and write here new image and also change here if new image then display the preview image okay otherwise display here image from database okay so add here the else part else and let's copy this and paste here okay now just remove this and uh, add here the path inside the double curly bracket asset and from this class file let's copy the image path okay and paste here and after this just added the forward slash okay and also change the property so let's copy and paste here one more thing uh, let's copy this function name update product and inside this form uh, just change here okay wire colon submit dot prevent is equal to update product now save this file okay now let's add here the add inside this products component view file add here the edit link okay inside this table so here inside this div let's add here the anchor tag href is equal to double curly bracket route and add here the route name admin dot product dot edit okay and then product id product underscore id arrow dollar product arrow id all right and also add the class text info and close this anchor tag all right and add the text edit now save this file everything is done okay so let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page and inside this table you can see here the edit link okay now let's edit the product so edit this one click on edit and here is the product okay now let's update the product so just add here the text updated all right change the price 600 same price 450 all right and also change the image so let's select this one okay temporary url okay let's check so inside this view file okay change the property new image now save this and just refresh the page okay uh, let's select the image and you can see here the preview image okay now change the title here product name so title updated price 600 640 and the sale price 500 okay now let's click on update SKU all right and you can see here products has been updated
so in this way you can update the product so that's all about uh, app update the product so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching